Hello and welcome back. So before we add uh, models for each of these tables, let's do something here real quick. The staff and the students are not using the same file, so they should be. So that once we change one of these, even when we try to access students, it would have changed. So let's go to, this is the students.view.php. So I want to remove all this here from this point, where, no, not if rows, just this up to here and replace it with an include version here. So I'll do PHP include and then I'll do views path user, close that like so. So you won't see a difference here. It should be the same, but now both of these are using the same file, which means if I go to user include.php and type something maybe here, it should appear on both sides. So here it's appearing on stuff, it's appearing as well, because now they're using the same file. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's come back to our classes, uh, go to this class and add lecturer. Okay, so I want to see what data we are getting from this. If I click search. So I will now open the uh, class tab lecturers add, which is this one here. So on this part, uh, where is this? Include user. Let's remove this for now. We may not use this after all. I want to show what's inside the post variable. What exactly are we submitting? So if I now search, search, uh, okay, no results were found, so it's understood why this didn't work. So I will copy this and paste it here instead. So search, okay. So here we have name. So if I put a lecturer name here, let me see some names here. There's uh, vibe, that's our lecturer there. Oh, document expired. Okay, so let me put vibe here and click search. So now you see that is there. But now remember that we we will need to do two submissions. The first one is when we are searching. The second one is when we click to accept uh, a lecturer into this class. So we must know which is which at which time. So right on the this button here that says search, I want to add a name to it and call it search. So let's see if we can register that. So click, again, click. So you see now here, there's search there. Okay. So for as long as this key is set in the post array, we know that we are searching. If we want to add a user, it's going to say something else and not search. So this is how we're going to know when we are searching and when we want to add a user. So here we'll get the name and here we'll get the search. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we can remove this like so. And then down here, we'll just create a table to display the results. But for now, let's add some models, shall we? So there's a user model here that we already have. Now we want to see what we can get from all this. Uh, to put in our other model. So this model will represent the class lecturers. So let's see what's in here. So all we need here are a bunch of IDs. So the ID, the user ID, the class ID, disabled. Okay, I see. Uh -huh. So no big deal. 
But for now, before we can even do that, we just need to search for a particular user. So in order to search, uh, results is here. I'm going to copy that. We'll pretend that the results have come back at the moment. And so let's add a table here. So I'm just going to say table. Now we don't, we don't want a table every time we loop. So the table must go above here, outside the loop. There we go. Move it here and there. Let's add a few classes. So obviously we want the table class, table striped. That should be enough table hover maybe and we don't want the heading every time we loop so let's add it outside oops okay so table header here we'll have the lecturer name and then we'll have what else do we need I think just the name and the action to add itself that should be enough. Okay, then here we'll have to loop. So I'm just going to copy this, put it here. Instead of table header, it's table D, TD. We'll use row to echo things out. Like that, row first name. and row last name so space row last name okay so the action here will be a button to add like this yes so that's a button there add let's put a class of button a uh, button small and a button uh, primary but let's put danger okay something like this mm -hmm. so let's see what we get now for this we need to be able to read users and this name we are getting here in the input will be used for searching so what i will do is go to the single class.php and where is this there's a tab here uh -huh. so i want to be able to add results here let me actually just do this and say uh, I think we may need to change the format here I'll just say results and hmm. okay let's change things a little bit here so there's a tab page here so I'm going to ask the question if post if the count, first of all, if tab name is equal to and so this one will be lecturers, lecturer add like so. So if this is true, then we're adding a lecture and then count this is greater than zero. This means something was posted and we are about to add a lecturer. So this will be add lecturer. So at this point, what we want to use is the user class. So I'm just going to say user is equal to new user. And then here we'll say results is equal to user. 
Now I want to use a query here because this is going to be a special query for searching. So let's come back here for a second. So there's going to be name is equal to post name like this. All right. Now we'll create a query. Now we want this to be searchable. So what we will do is we'll add some strings before and after this to make it a search query. That way it doesn't have to be exact. So we'll put a percent sign, a wildcard, and on the other side a percent sign like this. What this does is it puts the name that we are looking for inside two percentages like this. Now, you don't have to put them on both sides. You can put only on one side if you want. But what this does is it tells uh, MySQL that for as long as there's a partial uh, similarity in the name, you should return that as a result. So let's say you are searching for John. So even though you just type J-O, it should know that uh, you are looking for John. Okay, then now let's add our query. So let's say query is equal to. Now the query is going to say select all from users where uh, first name, mm -hmm. like, so we use like whenever we add these wildcats here. So we say like, and here we'll put a placeholder, like name, maybe we'll say F name, like so, and then we'll, or we'll put an or, last name, like okay and then we'll put again l name uh -huh. so we need just a small limit we'll limit this to 10 results like this okay then we can add our query here but then we need to add an array where we put f name should be equal to uh, this same thing we are searching for which is name so that's the variable name sorry and then put a comma and add a second one which is last name but they all go to the same thing okay the results is here now in case results we don't go in here we still need to account for this so maybe what I will do is say, uh, hmm, I may need to change how this works here, but for now, I'll just create an empty results here. Let's just say false like this. Then once we return a result, it becomes an array. Okay, so let's test this, shall we? <clears throat> I'll try vibe and press search. So you see, I get a result, vibe Peters. Let's try John. There's John there. Uh -huh. But the thing is, these guys, some of these are not lecturers. So let's go to users here and see. Uh, the rank must be correct. Now, before I forget also, uh, somebody told me in the comments that rank has become a reserved keyword in MySQL. So if you are using a version that is new, where, where rank is a keyword, you may have some problems. So what you may do is change this to something like user underscore rank, just to make it different from the keyword. But in our case, it works, so we just use it for now. So the rank here should be lecturer. So let me just copy that rank. And let's add it here. 
So how do we make sure that any of these results must at least adhere to the rank as well? We'll put this in a bracket where this like that or that like that. And then we'll put an and statement here and rank. So in your case, if you change this, it would be user underscore rank, but we'll go where rank is equal to lecturer. So let's paste that like that. Okay, so they must be a lecturer. So in that case, John will not be found. So if I try search for John, no results are found, but if I try vibe, I find a result. Also, I should be able to get the name here back. So we know how to do that. If I come back here, I will go in here and put a value and say, uh, get value. I don't know if it's set value or get value. And here I'll put a name like this. Closing PHP tag and opening PHP tag like so. I think it's get value. Let's try again. Okay, so there's an error, which means it's not correct. So it should be set value. Let's try that. Boop. Oops, that doesn't work either. Let me just check the functions to see. It's get var, not get value. Get var. Refresh, resend. There we go. So let's try again, vibe, search. Okay, so it retains that value. Let's try John, search, no results. Okay, so you see how things can work here. Let me try vibe again. And now all I need to do is add, click add here, and then uh, things will work out. Okay, let me put a break tag over here just to separate the two. This should work. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. All right, so, so far so good. I'll see you in the next video.